with Sam, um, one of the actors uh, for the film, on the way to pick up Ben. Um, ben is the, um, uh, he was an excellent film as well, he's also done a lot of the post-production with myself. Uh, well, I know Tony, yourself, um, from school. And obviously over the years, um, I've followed what you guys kind of do with Did You Hero, um, you and Paul. Mm -hmm. um, and I was involved a few years back with um, just a smaller mm -hmm. um, kind of standing part. Um, at the, life, uh, to live family. to live the life mm -hmm. um, to which I'd actually just had my second daughter. Yeah, yeah. So she was um, very young. She was still in her pram. Mm -hmm. And I think we shot that up at... Um, up at near Sainsbury's, near Sainsbury's yeah. um, and my older daughter mm. was in it as well yeah, so they always is. kind of get me to find that mm. and l let them see it yeah, so okay, but they? yeah uh, they uh, do okay. every now and then Holly will always say to me um you know can I see that bit where I was in a film and yeah, I was like well <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um and then obviously um for this you know what is did you hero mm. I um yourself contacted mm. me um and asked me if I was available and um, yeah, I kind of met up with I think it was yourself, um, AJ. Yeah. I've seen stuff. I've seen that stuff. Um, but apart from that, no, I'm still intrigued to know how it's all yeah. pulling together and coming together. Yeah, there's a um, there's a part where um, yeah, you did a phone voice for another character, didn't you? I did. Yeah, yeah I did was, the uh, uh, doctor. For yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. yeah, that's in there. Or we've we've, we've spliced some of that. Like, okay. Together, oh, awesome. Cool. Did, uh, did like a posh voice for that, didn't you? I kind of run the ideas past me, mm. um, give me a rough outlook to what was going to happen. Mm. Um, through, through a couple of parts and said, so well, who is your character? Uh, my, my character in the film is Katie Hope Drummett. Mm. Uh, Katie Hope Drummett is a gangster. Mm. For a, <laughs> um, She comes from a background um, or a family background mm. where her family, I would say, are very well respected. Mm. Um, but she has, she's at a point in her life mm. where, although I think she's got a lot of respect from a lot of people around mm. her, she just wants a quieter life. Mm. She wants to start to relax, not to have to. Um, I think her, her mother, mm. you know, the girl's best friend is their mother, um, is very domineering. I think she, put, I think she puts on her to the expectations to mm. be like the rest of the family, yeah. and I think Katie tries to tries to steer away from that. Yeah. Um, I think she's come to a realization that this that's not actually what she wants. Mm. There's a crack, fairies and corners, oh, and then that gradually builds up as so to towards the end of the song, it actually comes all together and breaks away and shatters. Oh wow! To make mm. the next song. I like Katie's character. Katie, um, yeah, I think that. If I'm thinking back now in my head, yeah, she's she's interesting, really interesting. Yeah, wow. yeah. because of um, it's, it's because of the family thing and the breaking away from something. I like the idea that um, you. Family is really important, but you don't have to be defined by them. Yeah, um, you are your own person, uh, and regardless of whether that you can go towards it, if that family is doing positive things and you take all the positive stuff, but if it's all negative, that doesn't mean that's your destiny, uh, and you can choose your own, um, regardless. And that's a difficult thing to say when you're talking about family, but. Um, but I, feel, I like the idea that you are your own regardless of where it started from. Because that's not just family. That's like DNA. That's like bloodline. That's like race. That's like uh, gender. That's like anything like that. So it says, it says your future doesn't have to be laid out a certain way. And I think that she changed from being that negative uh, character that had maybe a, uh, maybe a racist family as well. And turning it into something. No, you know what? I'm not actually that person. And I think that's and that's why I like that character. 
And then, <laughs> did I do that right? You know, did I? Would I have filmed that right if I'd have had real alcohol? And then when I was a little bit tipsy, I was like, okay, yeah. Did and there's the door for the thing. So yeah, I was um, having, I was having caught up real loads of flashbacks there. <laughs> flashback, flashback. I think you actually put on my Facebook because I put some um, pictures up. And you put, what are you doing back there? Again? Oh, yeah, I do put remember that alcohol. now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. Uh, the pad is gone, alas. See me, what makes Sam, Sam? Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm fun-loving, I hope. I'm crazy. I'm, um, I have a good group of friends. Mm-hmm. You know, I've got a great family. I've got a lot of support from family and friends. Um, I'm a little bit more described as perhaps the crazier one of my friends. Basically, this is the hate part, isn't it? Where yeah. She's all that hate is built up. Yeah. And she's said nothing. Mm. She texts him. Um, she texts her mum. Yeah. Uh, enough, I want out. I'm enough. Mm. Cool. Um, so um, you know, performing arts is my background. Um, that's where my love comes from. You know, my passion for performing. For um, I don't know. That that's what makes me me. I suppose mm. the, the little bit more eccentric. Yeah. Yeah. Um, over the course of my life. I did did performing arts at college, at university. And, you know, I went on and I was lucky enough to have been um, an extra in quite a few things you may have heard of, may not have heard of. Um, I've done um, documentaries on, um, I did a documentary on TLC um, for um, a band, which Mm. I've followed since I was um, 17. Okay. Um, it's actually celebrating their 20th year anniversary this year. And what was your part um, in that uh, basically, a fan. It was mm. it was TLC, mm. and it was a thing called Superstars and Superfans, mm. and a boy band um, from the 90s, mm-hmm. um, who I've who I followed, and we basically went down, and they filmed us um, talking about the band. Mm. Um, then obviously we went and we met the band again. Then we stayed for the concert. It was actually ten years since they performed in this country. Like so yeah, it was it was great mm. fun. And I mean, not many people on this planet can mm. say that they've actually got to be with their favourite band mm. for twenty four hours um, and filming. So it kind of brought two things together for me. And I met loads of great friends through that um, all over the world because they picked right. people from different countries oh, to do it. Though. And so I was one of the lucky ones, kind of from you know from this country to. Yeah, to go ahead and do that.